Fuck it up, we finna tell me what. Welcome back to Town Talk, everybody. What's up? We here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on? What's going on? Y'all hear the familiar voice. Billy's back. Yes, sir. <laughs> voice is finally back. Had a little hiccup over the weekend. You know what I'm saying? The vid caught me again. Or I caught the vid again. All right, straight into it. This right, nigga, nigga went straight into it. it. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? No, it wastes no time. It wastes no time over here. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? As always, thank you guys for supporting and saying another episode in the books. We here, episode 30, Talent Talk. Come on. Sorry. Is it 30? One, one, more, one more episode before we uh, before we end the year. Two more episodes before we end two the more, year. Like said, we got a Christmas episode, and obviously that's yet to be filmed, but. Mm-hmm. It's Java, so. <clears throat> Shout out yes, Kurt, sir. number 30. <laughs> Special one today. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. <laughs> Chef, with Yo, the listen. pop, boy. If you, look, if you are watching the visuals, see the fit. Shout out to all the people that donated. You know what I'm saying? I got this mm. from the. You wore that already? No, I didn't. <laughs> you said don't play me, bro. I just fuck with him. You said don't play me. I'm crying. He said, yeah, nah, I got a new fit. Yeah. Can't be wearing the same shit every time. Mm. <laughs> it's my son mm. in Burgundy. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're Young looking like a, like a smooth Starbucks 10 o'clock in the morning meetup. On some shit, bro. All I need is like a little watch, my yeah. hair done. You feel me? Getting coffee with a shorty. Shout out, Young LA. This shit fire. Don't worry. Od. That shit is fire. I shouldn't have told niggas where I got it from. For real, for real. Nah, nah you got it, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I'm trying to gay you. You got a job there one time. Once in a while. Once in a while. Not all the time though. Y'all gonna pay me? You know what I'm saying not sponsor yeah. sponsorship. Yeah, hey, 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 listen. Listen, hey. I'll wear the drip every single time. I got you. I got a whole bunch of packages over there. Yes, sir. Listen, bro, we got to support the small businesses. You know what I'm saying? Not all of them, but yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> got to be. Listen, some of our products be faulty. They need to go back in the lab. No, for sure, bro. Like, what I got on right now is good quality. Like, I promise you. you oh, yeah. Touch this shit, it's good quality. It's yeah. soft. It's warm. Yeah, now it's fire. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about, like, like uh, gilding, hey, we not we like same. products, like hair we, products. And oh, shit. oh, okay, yeah, those. This ain't gilding. What? What's gilding? Gilding brand, like those regular ass t shirts you could buy, like fucking, I don't know, uh, Michaels or something. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So I said this Hanes, no, <laughs> Hanes is regular too. Mm, not since they put MJ there. I'm crying. Hanes is fire though. Yeah, what you mean? Haynes is good quality, bro. Bro, don't come do on. That. Don't do that. Haynes is valid. My bad. Shit. Sheesh. Sheesh. That is not. Right. Fruit no. of the loan. That shit. Nah, that shit garbage. Oh, okay. I'll be wearing that, though. Yeah. <laughs> Fruit of the loan tanks out so crazy. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Mm, okay. Teachers on. Mm-hmm. They definitely don't go crazy, though. They definitely do. I'll be chilling. Anyways. Oh, all right. <laughs> Before was, we started into sponsorships and I was shit. trying to go deep in there But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Nah I was just gonna say You know saying Billy said he caught the vid I'm saying me and you stood far far away from him For the rest of the weekend Did, Bro, our, yeah, did our Christmas yeah. shit while he was suffering Word Oh you did? Yeah I mean I've been to mine so Oh yeah No I'm a visionary I went yeah. <laughs> um, I went to uh, Somewhere in Jersey Manapolis or some shit like that and it was a little Definitely. farm. There was Sounds. a farm over there where I could cut the tree down myself. So it was fire. You know what I'm saying? We went over there, looked at trees, realized we wasn't cutting any of those down, and then went to the store and bought one like we usually do. No way. I swear to God we did. Bro. What was the point nah, of going? Bro, he posted the flick. I'm looking at the, the, the saw. I'm like, damn, y'all got some work, my boy. And I, I'm thinking they got to cut two. One for them. Oh, three. Oh, three. Because I was with my brother. Brother, and his wife. Janelle. Mm. Yo, she. I'm looking at this, so I'm like, yo, good luck, my boy. Y'all look good, though. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. That's OD. No, the problem is we went over there, you know what I'm saying? And they basically were like, yo, you can cut down any tree you want, $80. That's like from zero to eight feet. But we got there and there was like no eight feet, eight foot trees. So I was like, what the fuck? All the eight foot trees were imported from somewhere else. You, your ceiling is eight feet, so usually you get like an eight foot tree, cut it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then you have like a six and a half, seven foot tree. Boom! Okay. Put your angel on it. Done. Start. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. 
But them, they were like, oh, yeah, like, you know, it's a little late in the season or whatever. We don't have no more seven foot trees, eight foot trees or whatever. But we imported them. So they were charging like 120, 150 for the trees. So I say you're paying for our shipping. <laughs> Yo, 120, 150 for a tree that's going to die like right after Christmas is I mean, crazy. It, they're like 100 right now, though, for real. So like, yeah. it, it's the it times. Was, it was really just like 20 to 50. Mm, maybe like seventy dollars more because you could still get a tree for like eighty bucks, depending on a brand and shit like that, the type. And if um, it's real or fake, or just no, 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 real, just real, real, real yeah. but okay. the brand because there's like Fraser, Balsam Fur, Mad, I don't know, bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> so that's what we did over the weekend, and um, yeah, Billy suffered. Not really. I caught up on my hero. My you son just sat there watching anime. Swear to God, that's all I did. Couple my hair, yo. If you're not watching my hair, you're slacking. That shit is gas right now. I texted him like, "Yo, bro, you yeah. trying to make some videos for the pod?" You know what I'm saying, "I know you home, cooped up, ain't doing nothing." He's like, "Yeah, nah, ain't yeah. happening, ain't happening. Yeah. happening." Nope, nope. I was like, um, "All right, I'm not doing it." I'm just watching only, my hair. The only thing I'm waiting for my hair is the Fortnite collab, bro. But we don't want you over here when our jobs. We don't want you over here. You left us. You watch my hero? No. Oh, okay. So you're literally, I just, just want a fake fan. Like, That's what just, I was gonna I'm say. A, I'm like, not a fan. Okay, so I just like the animations that the character does. Okay, so you're a fan of the art. Yeah. Mm. So you want it for Fortnite. Yeah. He just wants. He it's wants gonna to, happen. What are you? Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to run around in Delaware, smash everything. That's what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, but yo, new uh, season go crazy. Oh, uh, for Maya. Mm-hmm. All right. So hold on to that. Have you seen Demon Slayer trailer? Oh yeah, that shit yeah, is fire. Yeah, that shit is fire. February, January. When was it? When it drops? March? March. March. In March. theaters. And then if you can, if you want to catch up, theaters, March, and then bet, drops. Yeah. I'll yes, catch sir. up between now and then. No, he's not. No, I won't. He's not. I saw your tweets, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> word. Yeah, yeah, the fuck? Yeah, you know, you know about the slide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck you talking nah, about? Nah, but the biggest problem with anime fans is really that they are like, oh, bro, you have to watch this. Like, it's the fucking best thing in the world. And it's yep. like, bro, like, it's not for everybody. Yeah, the only reason I didn't drop in is because I was like that in the beginning. Now I'm just like, if you don't want to watch it, it's fine. Right, because you, you didn't watch anime before. No, nah, I still don't consider myself an anime fan. Exactly. But every anime you've seen, you're like, yeah, bro, now nah, you should got to try, you got to try it. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? It just so like, happened that they're good. You know how much TV shows I watch? I'm not over here like, yo, bro, you got to watch The Rookie. Like, that shit is mad fire. But I watch it, and I'm like, yo, this is fire. It's cool. Yeah, because If you're interested in this, you should watch. I'm not gatekeeping, bro. You yeah, at that point, you're gatekeeping. Nah, you good. I'm trying to put you on to, to peak. I'm trying to put you on the peak, and so you're yo, I know, like, I, I know you don't like this genre, bro. But this one, this one go different. Yeah, I mean, but bro, if you put if you put all anime in one genre, like then you're missing out because it's not all the same. Yeah, but he doesn't like cartoons. Though. It's, it's not movies. like it's not like you're watching. It's not like putting like oh, let's say like like all like horror movies are horror, or like fucking or like love shows are love. Like it's not like that. Anime yeah. is very broad. There's different types of anime shows. All yeah, horror movies saying. aren't horror. That's true. But yeah. They all I'm have just, they all have different stories. I get it, and they all are interpreted in a different way. I'm just not a fan of it. Period, though. What? What? He what just is don't it? like cartoons. Like the, let's start like, there. Like the animated, cartoonish, uh, just, the yeah. language. Like I'm, I, I'd have to watch in dub, which is like really bad because I hate when the lips don't move the right way. So yeah, fuck all that. That that shit is still entertaining. Mm, I watch dub, no. dub, me in the middle, right here. Yeah, that's why you're not an true anime fan no it's because exactly. i haven't seen the essential shows i've learned to accept people that watch dub so it's fine i think it said accept like you bro you said we're trying to segregate you what is he, what's going on <laughs> listen i still watch it's, at least i'm watching this no nah, exactly he's watching it exactly what and you were not you was cooped up in the in the crib right mm-hmm. did you listen to any music bro why don't you be like you bro i'll just listen to that bro don't say that don't say that one first of all <laughs> like, yo you listen to that new little dirk nah, bro. nah i definitely nah. didn't because <laughs> we all know what, what happened this weekend you know old we all know who dropped this weekend you know what i'm saying we don't get to it but yeah i did actually who dropped who dropped the youth it was that big of a deal first of all a boogie dropped you know what i'm saying all right scissor dropped scissor dropped exactly little dirk dropped i don't care about little dirk look I didn't, I didn't mean like that i didn't mean like that <laughs> <laughs> That was disrespectful. I didn't. I, I wasn't. You know, looking for Ex- the song. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I really I, meant. You I, know what I mean, well, what's that street that they be claiming? Fifty first or some shit like that. Oh, in, in, in Chicago, yeah, the ones you can't be going on. Chirac. Yeah, they about to. They about oh, to get you. Guess yeah. what? I'm not going there, so I'm valid. <laughs> yeah, Grim Reaper. Let me stop. 
Bro, chill. But yeah, I wasn't looking for the little dirt shit. But you know, A Boogie mm-hmm. says a drop this weekend. All right, so let's start off with a bang. Which one we want to go with first? All right. So it- go ahead. I was just going to say let's start with Boogie. Yeah, definitely start with Boogie. New York's own, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Drop a bomb for A Boogie real quick. You know what I'm saying? A Boogie, that shit was gas. You could have kept half the album, though, bro. Let's be real. Damn. Mm. Let's, let's, let's be real. Let's, let's, All right. I'm going to keep it a stack with you, Boogie, because I fuck with you. Nah, I'm not going to lie to you. After, like, track 15, I was like, yeah, this is not it. Bro, after track 10, after track, like, 10 or 11, Chill. I was like, yo. Yeah, Chanel- Chanel- Look Chanel- at them trying to sit in my seat. Yo, I'm saying, like, yo, you could have kept half of that shit, bro. Like, Nah, bro, Chanel was, like... Yeah, Chanel was track fifteen. <laughs> nah, yeah. and that's with Don Q. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't fuck with that. I didn't fuck with the track with Don Q. Neither. Yeah. Let's go back to the tracks they've done. Okay. <laughs> I don't Let's talk about the first half, the, though. Let's I don't even fuck what they did in the in in the beginning. I'm liking that I got new shit from them now. I could still like it, but it's not as good as the other ones. That's fine. We didn't say we you, not didn't, you didn't either. like it at all. Yeah, I know. That's horrible. Yeah, they could have got that. Um. Yeah, the first half of the album was cool though. That that track with PNB was cool. You heard it, nigga? What? Yeah. There was no track with PNB until on the, the deluxe. deluxe. But the we're deluxe. talking about the regular album. Son jumped to the deluxe. My fault. My fault. My fault. My I fault. definitely forgot that happened too. I'm like, wait, what? My fault. All right, my bad. Okay, so food for thought is the first track. That's fire. It's not. It's, I fuck with it. I fuck with this. Absolutely this, not. This is this is the bar right here. What? No promises. That's the um, bar. No that's, promises. That's a boogie's bar right there. Yeah. Damn that that should go crazy. The intro for hoodie season was was good too, but yeah. no promises. No promises. Yeah. Sheesh. That was that was a time. I'm That's sorry. the bar. That was a a mediocre intro. Which one? That shit. Oh, food for thought. Yeah. It was it was just. I don't know, bro. Like it didn't get me hyped for the album. That's what I was saying. No promises. Is the My bar. boy played that shit. He was like, "Yo, bro, no skips." I'm like, "No skip." Wait, wait, I wait. Skip the fucking intro. <laughs> like, no skips what? on this album is crazy. Nah, no skips. Like from like one to like track. 15 or probably or 12 But right. He gets He starts off strong With bro Let's say that was the fucking mm-hmm. Intro <laughs> Right exactly Yeah better ride out Which was a single We already heard that before Um Featuring Your Roddy. boy Roddy Rich Roddy Rich Sorry And then we got the uh, The Cancel King Track 3 Um Take, Take shots, shots Featuring Tory Lanez That shit still go crazy mm-hmm. That shit Able you low key To start that Song, if you really, really think about it, if you get to the end, yeah, I know. That second yeah. verse go crazy. That 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 ending is is fire. <laughs> that third song, fourth song, Drown in Part Two, was not disappointed. I definitely thought I was gonna be disappointed because it's like, oh man, but a boogie yeah. went into a different pocket yeah. on that song. Yeah, bro. And, and let's talk about it. Kodak kind of slid, bro. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. bro. This nigga Bill said, "Yo, this shit is heat." I'm like, nah. Ain't no way. Mm. And it was a single first. Mm. So I I went to the artist page. I'm like, single. I'm like, I bet. Played it. Oh, okay. Yo, like nah, you said, it, different different flow. Bro, different they bag. fell into a different pocket. And then uh, Kodak shouted out PNB. He was like, oh, yeah. I'm with I'm with Boog and PNB. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was like, fire. Yeah, he came up with them and stuff. Yeah, that was fire. And Kodak. All right, see you. Yeah, Kodak yeah I thought I was lying. Shit, though. Nah, it seems like, like this is Kodak's. Like, I mean, Kodak in twenty one. This is their year. Like since from like, that double XL freestyle. Yeah, um, people. Since um, Super Gremlin, he's been like on fire. Yeah, he just had a whole album. I know we didn't talk about it too much because it was like twenty five tracks, um, <laughs> and we don't be bumping Kodak on the regular. Yeah, but Walk was fire. Spin was cool. Like those two that you know the guy on TikTok. Okay, he had a couple couple standout features this year with Kendrick Lamar. Is that his solo album or the compilation? Because Super Gremlin came out with the compilation first. With the Sniper no, Gang. No, no, and then Danny that. dropped his. Yeah, cut oh, his. Okay. All right. Yeah, since that single, he's been he's killing been, it. Yeah, he's been... Everything I've heard him on so far has, has been really good. Yeah. So Water, definitely a standout track. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drown in Part 2. Money Conversations was fire. OD. Yeah. OD. Fire. OD. Yeah. It's probably like top three. And, I, and I, like, I like the placement. By himself Because the first three We got features mm-hmm. When he was the first finally one. hear him Like you yeah. know Kill something by himself Turn off the radio is valid too It's not It's not bad it's not, I don't have it But it's not bad It's not It's, it's not bad It's not bad G Herbo Last time Fire Yeah yeah. Fire G Herbo sounded like Not Herbo It was weird Like I was like Who is this I had to check the feature Nah you got You got to let his verse warm up You got to let it warm up mm, yeah, I, wasn't you fan. Warm I wasn't really a fan of it I, I understand I understand But you got to let it warm up 
Nah, hey, Boogie was, it was, it was, yeah, yeah. Boogie's part was cool okay. until I got to the, until I got the Herbo's part, and then that's why I, that's why kind of like threw, threw me off. I was like, yeah, but Herbo was on beat. Like kind, was, kind, of, kind of, kind of like like he was kind of on beat, and like some parts yeah. he wasn't. Like it was really weird, and that kind of threw me off. And I was like, I'm not gonna spin this back again, so I'm not gonna fucking. Okay, okay. Still stand out. It was a still like stand out because it's a, it's a it's a good feature. Yeah, I'm gonna hear it again. I downloaded I, it. I gotta I gotta revisit because first listen, I just didn't like it. I was gonna say, um, there's more. He's on beat more than off beat. I can say he definitely is, but like there's the the parts where he's off beat, and I don't like that. He's like, just, right. yeah, it just kind of, it threw me off. I was like, yeah, no, nah, right. I'm good. Just come back to it if you if you want. Yeah, definitely gotta revisit. Um, but yeah, after balling, or after what's that song? Come here, Not damn come homie, here. damn homie. Mm. I have I don't have anything till man in the mirror. <laughs> I don't got friends with benefits. Nah, I didn't like that one either. Regular. I yeah. didn't like regular. You don't got 24 hours? Damn. You don't got February? I don't like I don't. February at all. Nah, I don't like that one. Mm. I, saw, I saw it going around, but I was like, mm, nah. Soul Snatcher I didn't like. I'm telling you, bro, that whole second half of the album is just not that good. You know, he, I mean. He couldn't, well, nah, because you got Man in the Mirror 24 yeah, hours can, and Player. When you said that, I can't really say that because I got yeah, I got those and I yeah. got Bounce Back, Friends with Benefits. It just, most of the second half I don't have. Out of 20, what, 24 20, tracks? 22. 20, 22 tracks, I have 12. That's good. I have 14. I have 11. Oh, so it's, it's about average. Yeah. But A Boogie set the tone. He definitely set the tone. It was valid. But then we had. Oh, wait. wait. Phone move on sales numbers or what? Bunch of that together. Go ahead, go ahead. Tell us sales, sales numbers. Uh, number seven, 50K, I would think. Feeling. 50K for A Boogie? Yeah, number seven. And the numbers keep getting lower and lower, like I said, every time. So, But you got to remember most of it is occupied by Christmas shit. I That's would, true. I would say that um, with the push that he did for the album, he didn't go like too many um, radio interviews or nah. do any freestyles. It seems like people are doing that after their album nowadays. So mm. I don't care about first week numbers. We'll still say them so that people know, but yeah. I don't think this is good or bad. I'll take back my, my Chris Brown hatred uh. for his first week album sales. Still bad, but... Doesn't matter. I also think he got he had a rough man. Like his first release date was supposed to it was um, it was supposed to be what in November, but then her loss dropped or like they announced her loss, and yeah. then then he finally announced this date, and then Metro S- Boomin had just dropped. Metro Boomin dropped, and then SZA, SZA announced same day her album too. So like he kind of got like That's I true. feel like if he dropped on a week where like not all these big name artists dropped, he he might have did more. He might have would have done more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. But since SZA dropped a new album and she hasn't dropped in five, five years, fucking like an years, year, five, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. he kind of got. I, I don't want to say snubbed, but he would have did more numbers first week if it was on a week where you know this art, artist didn't drop. He got buried. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. She if you didn't the, check, she grabbed didn't the check shovel. Him. She grabbed the shovel, threw all the dirt on him, mm-hmm. and left him there to sink. I literally. saw literally nothing. Not as not a single thing about A Boogie's album this weekend. Yeah. Nah, Everybody that, was talking about SZA. That February track was That's fine. But I didn't see a single thing. I promise you. Yeah. Between us we spoke about it and stuff like that, but on my timeline, oh my God, SZA put her whole foot in this, her whole ussy wussy, like they went crazy. Yeah. And it was like, damn, bro, A Boogie just dropped too. Like, you're not going to listen. This is New York's own. Like, nobody gave a single fuck. <laughs> not a single fuck. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Well deserved, though, because SZA dropped a fucking masterpiece of 12 tracks. I won't even mention yeah, the rest of them. Yo, I was about to say, yes. <laughs> I won't even mention the rest of them. Yo, but let's keep it a stack. Has SZA grown? As an artist, in terms of what she's talking about in her music, has Drake grown as an artist in terms of what he's talking about in his music? Whoa, 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 whoa! Drake and SZA are like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm asking a question. Does this sound like she's talking about the same thing as Control? No. How? how what do you? Why? Because it's not the same story. Control. 
she like just wants to be loved and like she's she's like fighting for love and this one it seems and like it, more she's hurt and it's okay not to be in control and it's okay not to be in okay control. that was the that was the that point was the this point. is a continuation i'm just i'm just asking a question my bad sorry no nah, there's a story this is a continuation yeah okay oh, okay my bad i'm asking there's i was a, asking a question there's a story for the first half or lois never mind no <laughs> <laughs> but yes there's a story for the first half i would say the second half kind of just threw together random songs and was just trying shit Mm, yeah, for like few of them. You were making a lot of faces. For you. those of y'all not watching the visuals, you got to watch the visuals. To um, see AJ's faces when we were saying that this was a good album off rip. Yeah, because I have like seventeen tracks. So it's a good album. Yeah, you said good twelve track album. Oh no, no, yeah, no. I, I said the 16. first twelve tracks were great. She oh, dropped a great. If it was just oh. those, and I seen that going around. A couple of my friends said it too. Those first twelve tracks. You could say you could say thirteen, maybe fourteen of them. Right, what was after that? Let's see. Oh yeah, nobody gets me is fourteen and F two F went crazy too. So F two F go crazy. And not for not for us, but I'm talking about like um, the masses. Let's say the first fourteen tracks are valid, but the first twelve are definitely Nah, I had some thoughts on the F two F, but let's let's we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. So you don't think this is a solid album? I just had to have seventeen tracks. I know you're crazy, but Oh, you think this is a solid album? Yeah, especially where, where do you rank it? Because you're a Scissor fan. Yeah, but like, yo, hearing <laughs> I don't know who's listening to this, but yo, hearing this in a different mind state, if you know, you know, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Oh, but it's that's why I kept telling you guys to yo. Did you hear good days in it? In it, I heard the album. Yeah, the good days go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, good days when you are high. Bro. As fuck is crazy. It just the sounds like the water falling, everything, bro. I could imagine if you were on some other shit, bro, like you could that almost was, feel it. That was literally my weekend. Weekend. Listen, listening to the album, on high. Yeah. <laughs> Friday, Saturday. Have you, have you listened to it again since you weren't? Friday. Since you weren't high. Yeah, Friday in the morning. Okay, I weren't. Yeah. So I'm just wondering because the first time you heard it, you wasn't high. No Second time you was Yeah Oh okay And third time Fourth And fifth And sixth <laughs> and seventh <sighs> Sister just does that to you though Like she oh my Bro God. That snooze <sighs> Gone girl Yeah Gone girl crazy bro. Fire bro Low Um <laughs> bro. Low with the With the Travis ad libs In the background Yeah he should have been on that Yeah bro yeah. That shit was he The very, very disappointing feature By Travis on that Yeah but it was really just disappointing placement because I still fucked with what he had to say, and I fucked with what she had to say. I just didn't care for where it was placed. Mm. It was yeah, it was placed very, very late in the album. It should have been like either in the middle or towards the beginning. Like, why would you place a Travis feature there? I don't know. Sizzle I don't think was, he should have been on it. No, nah, he he didn't need to be on it at all. SZA was rapping her ass off though. I Yo. was like. I was like, damn, Top Dog, maybe I don't need to worry about anything. <laughs> Smoking on my X pack What? She was going crazy on that. I don't even have that. Now. I don't have that. What? I, I don't have that. But it's good. I it, appreciate it. It's really good. That song is that song is hate. It is, but nah. it's not for me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. I was like, this shit is this shit is I love all my exes. True. True. Right. Right, sure. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm not smoking on another packs. Nah, mm. I just. I just didn't care. Oh damn. Yeah, it hit you, huh? Mm. Nope. <laughs> you said damn. It hit you, huh? Nope. I'm good. Nah. Nah. Don't. She. She definitely bodied it, but doesn't mean I'm gonna listen to it again. Blind go crazy too. Talk about growth, right? Yeah. You see. Yeah. That's growth. Ah, right, bro. My fault. My fault. <laughs> Nigga, okay. we, before we even gave our thoughts on album, uh, did SZA grow as an artist? So I like, just asked the question. She just showed, Jesus Christ! She just showed you that she did. What's I just was? asked the question, bro. Damn! I never said that. I didn't think she grew as an artist. I just asked the question. Crucify me, Jesus Christ! I just know when you were smacked, the blind went crazy. I was, that was literally on the tip of my tongue. I was like, how we feel about Blind? Because I know I came Blind in here t- hyping it up on the SNL performance. But, bro, Blind is crazy, mm-hmm. bro. Blind's one of the ones. One of them, bro, I'm telling Blind's you. one of the ones, yeah. Bro, once I go it's from... Not, it's not the best, but it's... it's yeah, yeah, it's not. It's one of the ones. It's top five. Definitely. Yeah. Once I go from... Bro, imagine. Go, once I go from love, love Language, Blind, Snooze, Gone Girl, Nobody Gets Me, High... 
Yeah, you skipped a lot there, but I know you didn't have the rest of them. Yeah, I know. I didn't. Oh, man. Love language is underrated. I didn't see a lot of people, like, posting about it or talking about it. It was more like Snooze, Gone Girl, Blind. Special. Special. But love language is fire. Love language yeah. is definitely up there, too. Mm-hmm. That's definitely in my top five. Kill Bill. I like no, it. No. Yeah, I like Kill Bill. No. Nah. I put, what? I put that in the same sense as smoking on my ex, right? Nah. SOS, Kill Bill, Seek and Destroy. And smoking on my X pack, all the ones that people like was loving, loving, loving. I was like, yeah, these are these. I like the sleepers. Nah, those are heat, bro. What's I literally have every single one of. Did those. you like the intro? That's us. Nah, it was cool. Like if I play it on vinyl or some shit, I let it run. Ghost in the Machine. It was cool. It was Taylor Swift giving a dark twist. That's literally what for, what's her name? Phoebe Bridges. Phoebe, that's Phoebe what Bridges, she is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, too late. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Too yeah, late that. is he. Too late is he. I got that. What's too late? Conceited. Bro. Oh yeah. my god, bro. Yo, conceited is crazy. She just far, bro. Damn. Nobody gets me. Nobody gets me. Is crazy. Skip over that? No. We said it. We said bro, it. I said it. Yeah. All right. Saw the video. Relax. Yes, she was in a judge jersey, jet jacket. People were loving that. New York was loving that. She was? Yeah, yeah, she was in like I, a judge thing. I saw that high too, so. <laughs> uh, also used. Used to look crazy. Yeah, Don, Don Tolliver. Don Tolliver def- definitely did his thing. I don't think Killed SZA it. did it all. I don't have it, but it's cool. I liked it a lot. Don did valid, though. It wasn't a bad feature, no. I think SZA was more like, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Apparently, SZA says that this is going to be her last album. Yeah, I hope not. Please. Yeah. Um. This is what she said. Where she said that? At? Uh, she said it in an interview. I don't know exactly where from, but um, it was a quote. On, I saw it on Twitter. I saw it too. I saw a ninety hot ninety seven interview. I thought she said it there, but it wasn't there. Oh, it wasn't there. No, it, it was somewhere, bro. She said it. I'm not gonna confirm that because I seen a lot of people on Twitter just like kind of take that quote and run with it. But I never saw no video, and they didn't go from no like publicized pages, like no public pages posted it. It was more just like. Random tweet accounts to set it, so I don't, I won't put too much value in that. Also, she got her like her surgery, like her little singing surgery, whatever for her her voice, man long ago mm-hmm. when she was performing. I think she loves this shit. I don't think she'll ever retire from it. Maybe it'll be her last album, mm, but she's definitely gonna put out music. That. She was begging them to put out this music. Mm. This might be her last album with TDE. That yeah. energy she was giving off on ninety seven says otherwise though. What was she doing on ninety seven? Well, first of all, she was in a room. It was a Zoom thing. So it just looked like she was not, she doesn't care, but on some like, you know, whatever it does. Just I'm telling you, bro, it's TDE, it. though. Like, she was begging them to drop this. You don't beg somebody to drop this, get so hyped, talk about the deluxe. You want everybody on this deluxe. Like, what is it? If it, Maybe she wants everybody on the deluxe because she wants to be done with music. That's that another would, frustrating. That could make sense. Frustrating thing, though. A lot of people didn't turn in their verses on time or didn't. Um, show up So that that was not A lot of frustration She's hoping They might show up In the deluxe But we'll see Okay so The interview she said it in Was with NME And she said I'm making the best album Of my life For this next album Referring to SOS Because it's going to be My last album mm. Last album does not mean Last time we ever see it Yeah, since yeah. Since it though, so. yeah. yeah Hopefully She announced her tour too So Word. That's probably gonna go crazy. Oh, it's your boy Omar Apollo. Fire, fire. I hope he's fire. That I mean, because I'm thinking about buying tickets. But, but I, yo, let me know. We out. Bye. I'll go to this concert. I don't give a fuck that shit. She's only gonna perform fucking Control and SOS anyway. Mm, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe some tracks off the, um, the Z album. The Z album, or maybe the Black Panther too. Her her hits hit different, like. Or um, what's that song on DJ Khaled's album? Back against the middle fingers. Or That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. I don't know the title. I, don't remember song. I forgot. Yeah, that song. Yeah, the, she might. The Miss Jackson fucking thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what about the song ODB? I don't feel about that. At least for season's part. I have no thoughts on it. I, I didn't. I didn't get to fully enjoy it. Jesus Christ! My bad. <laughs> 
I don't have it. I didn't. I wasn't a fan. Like I wasn't. Did you like old dirt, dirty bastard on it? Nah, I'm not really a fan of ODB. Yeah, like his style of rapping. Mm. I respect it. It's different. But shout out Dog Child. He released that footage of the audio. Oh, fire! Okay, he, fire. And he produced the track. And he produced Snooze. Snooze is fire. Dark Child making a comeback, low with, key. With Babyface and Leon Thomas. Oh, Leon Thomas? Okay. Oh, Snooze. Yeah. My boy. Yo, my yo, boy, yo, Leon. You, bro, he came a long way from Victoria. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Producing for the GOATs. Bro. SZA, Drake. Right. Who else? Listen. Ty Dolla. Kalani, low key. Wrote that track for her, too. Ty Dolla, you said? Well, Ty, Ty him are really cool. So I'm pretty sure oh, Ty's yeah. the reason why he's getting into all these rooms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, because him and Ty are like are like yeah. brothers, bro. They they go everywhere together now. So I'm sure like like Ty's hooking him up, putting him on with these different artists. Yeah, yeah, for which sure. Which is amazing because he's a talented individual, man. Since the beginning, that nigga's been going crazy. You know, I, I, I you know. Man. You know what I'm saying? Since he was on, first of all, he was on iCarly first. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh my, my bad. He was on iCarly first, and then they brought him over to Victorious. You know I what forgot I'm saying? They, they did like three. Cross three swat, yeah, three cross was No, no, like before Victorious was even a thing, like they brought him onto iCarly for an episode. He was just like an extra, and then they brought him onto Victorious when they made the show. Oh, I'm only saying that because I saw Ariana Grande in like three shows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sam and Cat. Sam, yeah, like Victorious. Victorious. Or... Yeah, 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 definitely. They, they had her going crazy. All right. Um, we had uh, what, a little dirt drop this week, you said? Yeah, he dropped uh, "Hanging with the Wolves." Given it to drop the um, compilation album "Only the Family" Volume Two, so December sixteenth. Watch out for that. What's sure. that gonna be of? What do you mean? Compilation album of? Oh, of his label, "Only the Family." Gosh, gotcha. OTF. So him, Hypno Carlito, some other cats. <laughs> some other. <laughs> some other cats. <laughs> That's fire though. Yes, Shout sir. out them. Yes, sir. Shout out Dirk on his his CEO shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On like Gucci dropping eighty songs, bro. I don't even want to talk about that. I'm not. I'm. It wasn't even gonna be, get mentioned because eighty yeah. songs are ridiculous. I understand that some of them were out already, but just putting it all in one place to listen to, like, obviously it's for streams. But eighty I, I don't songs. Know. I mean, this is the guy who released hundred albums, so and mixtapes. So I don't know. Son, I think it was like four and a half hours. It's four hours. That's. Like, Ridiculous. That's literally a trip from here to Virginia. Like, if you think I'm gonna sit through four hours of just Gucci Mane, like, no, no, it's no, not it's Gucci Mane and his whole label. His oh, label. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. good. That's I'm what I'm good. saying. Like, I'm. I don't care who it is. I'm good. <laughs> Eighty songs. Nah. Fuck that, bro. You couldn't pay me money to listen to that shit. No, I'm lying. But <laughs> that's just crazy, bro. <laughs> four hours. Um, I didn't bring this up, but. Do you guys catch the Glorilla and Lotto track collab? No. No. Nah. I didn't even know they came out with one. Yeah. It's like last week. Was it good? It's cool. It's to turn up. Fuck the club up. That's the title of the track. Mm. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Lotto's you know, Throwing Paint. Mm. So. Yeah. The That's, video is cool. It's a, it's, a, it's, the club, it's a club track. So. Yeah. I heard a freestyle somewhere. Oh. Um, Glorilla. 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 Yeah. She went crazy. Fun flex. Oh. Yeah, she was going crazy. She was valid. She could rap. Yeah, she's not. She's not bad. A lot of women could rap right now. Facts. Lola Brooke is fire. All that attention that y'all giving this Ice Spice girl with the uh, munch, munch, and fucking bikini bottom, bro. Turn all that attention to Lola Brooke. She's gas. I know that. Um, that's the girl that has that one track. I don't know what the standout track is, but I know what I like. Sure. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play oh, with it. oh, okay. I've heard that in the streets. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's the standout one. That's from twenty twenty one. She okay. dropped "Here I Come," um, "Dummy Yummy" in twenty twenty two. Those shits go fire. I ain't playing with it because one, don't play with it, and two, <laughs> I'm not trying to get copyrighted because she already on a label. So, oh, okay. I was about to say she she's not. She from where's she from? Team eighty Productions. Under exclusive license to Arista Records, a division of Sony Music Entertainment. So Arista? So, Still? Yeah. Damn, I thought they died. Yeah, that's what I was, I was about to say. She signed to somebody, they signed to somebody, they signed to somebody. She's probably in a hood, like a nah, but street. Arista is the, the label like Usher was like on there. Yeah. Type shit. Damn. And they revamped to RCA. Oh, I thought they revamped to RCA. 
Uh, they must they must have some type of branch still under Arisa then. Under Sony, because RCA oh, is under Sony. Sony. Yeah, yeah. So they must still be like a thing. Yeah, it's crazy. But she, yeah, she's from New York. Little books fire. She's in New York, shorty. Oh, word. Okay. She did that. Um, what's that called? In my hood or something? The, that. Oh the yeah, mic? yeah, yeah. The with mic. the mic. What's it, it what's, what's it called? Uh, I don't know. Fuck. I know what you're talking about though. I seen them. Yeah, but I want hey, to get the right name. One. Yeah, really? Yeah. I want to get the right name. The one that Chris Brown did. Yeah. When he In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. There you go. That shit's fire. Yeah, Boogie just did one. Okay. Yeah. God, I probably saw. I probably seen it then because I seen a a, a a female rapper do it recently. Ice Spice? No, <laughs> no, it was Ice Spice. It was somebody. I, it was probably her. I gotta, I gotta, re- I gotta check again. But I definitely know the the head though. Don't play me. Yeah, Don't yeah, play that's it. That's it for music. Yeah, that's it for music. We just got uh, we got some honorable mentions of what's what's dropping, which I could look forward to next week. Um, we got already Absol- dropped already. By the time this drop. <laughs> Absol, man He's coming out strong With his project That hasn't been out For five years He hasn't put out A project for five years mm. Called Herbert Saying It's funny Cause like He'd be inside He don't be out, like outside With nothing So Herbert is like A perfect album I think that's his middle name I was about to say But like you name? know Like people People be calling uh, like, a, like a Herb And shit like that or um, Hermit Hermit there you go yeah, I'm good so, to well, hermit, hermit is the word that I was looking for, but I'm saying like it's just funny because like Herbert, Herb, Hermit, Hermit. It's like a play on word, kind of, of like the herb word. No, just like just forget it, man. Like, I forgot what I was trying to say. Like I fucked up. All right, just did it live. I didn't want nobody to know. Like an introvert. <laughs> no, yeah. So Herbert. Oh, yeah. Herbert. He be he be inside. You no, know, he always got the sunglasses. He'll be fucking with that. He'll be going yeah. outside, do nothing. Yeah. But anyways, it's been five years. He's dropping his album, <laughs> and um, I'm super excited, man. He just did a freestyle on the LA Leakers. Mm. He went crazy. I mean, he was barring that shit up like no tomorrow. Damn, that's why I didn't watch it. You didn't see it? No, nah. yeah, nah. me. No, nah, I saw it. I gotta check it out. I just didn't watch it. Sheesh. I definitely gotta check it out because I love those LA Leakers fucking freestyles. Everybody that goes on there, we going crazy. It's a new thing, man. On um, Absol. On the LA Leakers freestyle, he shouts out Kendrick Lamar. He's saying, you know, like, we not on, uh, he's not on Top Dog no more, but that's still my family, family ties. He also says that he's not overrated. He said if a million people are saying that I'm, oh, no, sorry. He said he's not underrated, mm. that he's overqualified. He said if a million people are saying that I'm underrated, then I'm not underrated. It's a million people. Mm. He, yeah. He's right. Uh, he. Bro, he had some crazy bars on there. I did hear the Kendrick line. Or it's sort of Kendrick Lyon, I should say. He says, stuck to the money like I'm uh, stuck to the money. I'm a staple. Like, that shit was fire. And um, one more. What'd he say? Damn. Got more transactions in the LGBTQ community. Whoa. That shit was crazy. He said, <laughs> That's crazy. He was like, he was like, you know what I'm saying? Pause just for the love, some shit like that. <laughs> he shouted them out, basically, in okay. that bar. I was it was just fire, bro. I just can't wait for the album, honestly. Just for the pen, like, his pen is so crazy. But yeah, no, no thoughts on that because he got dead silent. But I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Like, what? You, <laughs> nah, yeah. now you giving us everything. Uh, I'm listening to. It sounds the heat, nigga. I'm gonna go, after this. I'm gonna go watch it. Like, man, I'll definitely go watch it. Matter of fact, no, nah, I can't play it. I can play it because we won't get copyrighted. No, nah, you nah, won't. I'm not going to. It's like y'all go watch it. Fuck. Yeah, that shit is that shit sounds like it's fucking fire. <laughs> cool. Kind of want him to play, but nah, <laughs> nah, it's fine. I watch it. I watch it. Probably not gonna be able to find it. No, nah, I like Lucas. But yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, the weekend is dropping the track for Way of the Water. Oh yeah, it's already out by the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That shit. I'm excited for that, man. I'm excited for anything the weekend can drops, bro. Like that, that man does not miss, bro. And for way to water, two steps back. He does not miss. I didn't. I didn't. I did not stutter. I said what I said. He does not miss. Now nah, you just got him so far down. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That he does not I, miss. I hope he hooks up with Ludwig. I don't know his last name, but Ludwig. Who's that? He's the guy that uh, produced the Black Panther soundtrack. Oh, word. Okay, the, okay. Yeah, some other joints. That's fire. Yeah, that'd be fire. Yeah, I'm watching. Um, Avatar 1 right now Getting ready for Avatar 2 Oh the first one? Yeah 
Yeah. Nigga said it like if it's a series. I was like, yeah, yeah. I stopped. I I kind of fell asleep last night. I'm I'm, I'm watching Avatar one, but I'm watching it in bits, (laughs) thirty minute intervals. It's a long movie, bro. Like I had, I fell asleep last night watching it. A split second, I thought about the cartoon for a minute. I was like, no, no, I'm watching the I'm watching the movie. Like I gotta finish it, but yeah, I fell asleep last night watching it. Damn, that is a long movie. It's bro, it's three fucking hours. For some weird reason, I still have like. 20 minutes left I'm like what yo, Didn't I see like, the credits already yo, That's what I'm saying It's a long fucking movie But yeah Definitely excited To hear that track And see how it goes With the visuals Door, Of the yeah. movie Yeah Some other one, underwater shit Some like yeah, Or like whatever The fuck they do. Like I, I'm definitely I'm, I'm hyped for that it Definitely Must it, it might be like Weird hearing The weekend On a track like that Like I'm envisioning Something like Kind of I don't know, like majestic, native, native majestic. majestic. Yeah, 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 like you know what I mean, like because way of the water, like it just like with the theme of the movie. I'm I'm envisioning like majestic sounds. Did he say majestic? Did you hear? Yeah, majestic, majestic, majestic. Yeah. Yes, majestic. <laughs> Yo, yeah, definitely I'm, excited for that. I'm happy too. Like I said, hope he hooks up with the right producers and you know. Musicians with his voice, high high his voice and shit. I mean, yo, listen, James Cameron is spending a lot of money on this movie, so he better put some of that shit into production. No, Fox and Disney are spending a lot of money in this movie. Oh yeah, yeah sorry, Fox and Disney. Yeah, James Cameron is just you know, he's just great at what he does. But yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, two billion is it two billion? He needs two billion to he, break even. Yeah, so they spend like two billion on the movie. No, they spend like two point. Something or three. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, so put some, put some of that money into the production of the music. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. Give my give my man the weekend the the tools that he deserves. You know what I'm saying? Two three billion. Got some money for got, my son. You, you know what some. I mean? You got some. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for next week, right? Nothing else is dropping. We do not care. No. <laughs> right. Yeah. This, this man. Listen, bro. I can't wait to hear it, bro. I can't wait to hear what the weekend has up his sleeve for that. Um, uh, that's it for new music that I know. Probably a bunch of like little things that I'm definitely not going to listen to because it will be Christmas time. Mm. I will be bumping nothing but Christmas music. I will bump Absol just off the strength of it being Absol. But yeah, it's Christmas music. Yeah, just to be rap on replay. Thought about it the other day. I know how how you guys listen to Christmas music. I mean, like I got a playlist, but. That's nothing. It's only like 12 songs. But that's enough. Put nah, those 12 like, songs in some rotation, you know what I'm saying? Nah, and you switch it out with it? some... It's definitely not, but... I know, right. That's what I'm saying. It's we're, not. We're built different. Yeah. It's not enough. I'm, I'm being honest. It's all right. We'll talk about the next episode when they have a whole playlist. Is the new Bryson Tiller Christmas music in your playlist? No, nah, no. Nah, it's only classics. Yeah. No, I added it, Now you're slacking, bro. Mm, like, nah. Now you're, now you're slacking. I? That needs its own playlist. That's cool. Like, make a place for that then. All right, because ain't no way I'm going from Luther Vangelis to Brazen. Shit, I did the other day. <laughs> All right, well, that's what we built different now. Yeah, we built different. I'm telling, I'm, I'm saying. And do you have Justin Bieber? Come yeah. on, man. He's yeah. in that place? Yeah. All right. It's like at the bottom. All right, fair enough. All right. Anyways, <laughs> we'll be back next week with some, some Christmas debates. That'll be fun. Yeah. Saying in the holiday spirit. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> but right now we got one gotta go. Got another vibes. We here. Let's get it. One gotta fucking go, baby. These have been picking up. I'm saying we've been doing artist versus artist. Mm. We've been doing some same song from the same artist. Uh different songs, same artist. Mm-hmm. So let's see what we have in store today. AJ, I know you don't like to be too much in the one gotta go, so now you like to read them. All right, let's go. <laughs> but this one, this one is curated for you specifically. Cause, Say that. Because you are a Chris Brown stan. Nah, but. Nah? I'm officially a MJ stan only. Okay. Fine. Okay. He's lying. All right. <laughs> one gotta go. Mm. No Air by Chris Brown or With You by Chris Brown. It's always so silent when I speak to him. 
he has to do so much in his thought process. Bro, in the span of 10 seconds, every, like, memory is just flashing by. Um, one got to go. Damn. With you. With you. Yeah, yeah, with you. Got to go. All right. Yo, Billy, which one? All right, come back to me. Yeah, no air got to go. No air got to go? Yep. Mm, yep. Damn. Oh. Damn. Nope. And now you saying that? I'm. I think I'm confident in what I said. With you, with you go. Go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nah, man. No air gotta go for me, bro. With you, what? Come on, man. No air is one of the greatest duets of the fucking century. I ever. I got superhuman. Superhuman is not better than no air. It's, I it's, I think it is. It's really good. It's really good, and I think it's and it has three you, verses. You so know, it's better either, than good. It's either better than no air or like right there. Not. Nah. It's not. It's yes, it is. It's, bro, it's not. Superhuman. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. Superhuman is good, but the other one that they have is better. Low key. One night stand. Never heard I it. Never heard that one. Carries in a Chris Brown. No, I never heard one night stand. Yeah, see, that's why I say you're a Chris Brown stand. That yeah. That shit. Nobody knows that. I bet. That was definitely a single. Doesn't mean it was a good one. I <laughs> I got you after the pod. Bye. Yeah. Right. Let's keep this going. Yeah, yeah. With you stand, bro. No, yeah, with you definitely. Uh, with you staying, staying or going? Oh wait, going, going. Oh yeah, no, with you staying, going. No, yeah, no, no way you're staying. I'm good. I'm good off that. You know, bro, and that was out of nowhere too. No one saw that coming. No but, air. Yeah, because yeah. she had one step at a time, so she was chilling. And then, oh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> with you, gotta stay. Uh, <laughs> no, listen. I, the memories that I have with that song are also I'm fond of. You know what I'm saying? Like, All I'm saying is that when Chris Brown was on stage at his concert and he had his fans choose what song to play, they chose No Air. That's fine. He gave them the option. He said, "All right, you guys are gonna scream. The meter is gonna read the scream or something like that." And it was like three songs. No Air won every time. That's cool. I'm still picking with you. Nah, but that's fine. Um, mm, you asked for this one, so I'll just do it just for fun. <laughs> all right, all right. No air or my boo. Yeah, no air. Got to fucking go, bro. You come on, like that's a, that's that's a pretty good time. Damn. That bro. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, my boo is a classic, so it's yeah, a, it's, it's fine. A it is certified classic. Come on now, <sighs> my boo's thing. No, yeah, my boo's yeah. Got thing. But I just did it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. Right, bro. Damn, we get it. My boo. Sheesh. Come on, man. Confessions is like one of my favorite albums of all time, bro. Let's 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 really. I forgot about that. Shouldn't have brought it up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I my bad. Sheesh. (laughs) Come on, man. I'm gonna throw one of these viewer one gotta go. So bring your A game. Mm -hmm. All right. Jay Silla on TikTok. He said. Drake, trust issues, or Chris Brown, please don't judge me. One got to go. Don't judge me, got to go. First of all, mad quick. Second of all, Billy, yeah. God. Don't judge me, got to go. <laughs> Come on. Right. Please don't judge me, Chris yeah. Brown. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All the vulnerability on the floor right there. I don't give a f- Yeah. Bro, what? In the middle of a dance album? Yeah. Don't care. Trust issues? Trust issues. I like what trust issues turned into. I'll take. I'll take. Uh, oh, to like the two of my cups and they got that drink. To the, okay, I'm on one. He's yeah. talking about one. Yeah, uh, bro. What's the rap verse at the end? Are we really acting like "Please Don't Judge Me" didn't have everybody in a chokehold? That's not fine. Me. I mean, it was a good song. It's a great song. It's yeah. I'm not saying it's not a good song. But I was. I'm nah, picking. Right. Please don't judge me over trust issues for sure. Okay. That's that's cool. You can do that. You can do whatever you surprised. want. I was a sad little fifteen year old kid. Like, please don't judge me. I was probably going through some breakup or some shit. That's oh. fire, crazy. Hey, it is, but no trust, trust issues. issues. Bro, nah, Damn. son was going crazy with the vocals on that, bro. Come on, man, bro. I heard that song and I was like, "What an unreleased shit you got!" 
<laughs> and then I just went in the, like a hole, like a front club paradise, free spirit, all them shits. I get lonely. Yeah, I get lonely. I just, yeah. I just kept finding. Them. I'm like, oh my Sometime god, on all of care package. I, <laughs> yeah, bro, I, pretty much. I, pretty much. And then when that came together, I was like, great, thank God, you got out your deal. Dreams money can buy, it. <laughs> bro. Yeah. What a way to start the album. Mm. Oh my god, man. But yeah. Shout out to you, Jay Silla. Thank yes, you for the for the comment. Even though these boneheads um, want to pick one thing. Yeah, more. All right. Go ahead. I got one more for you. I saw this on TikTok. I saw this on TikTok. I didn't think about it by myself, so don't think, you know. Yeah, I remember a couple of weeks ago we did the Who Gotta Go Vocally thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I got another one. Who Gotta Go Vocally? Usher? Jamie Foxx? Michael Jackson? R. Kelly? Excuse me? I saw it on TikTok. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Saw it on TikTok. Yo. Uh, Good luck. <sighs> Holy shit. You know what made it even harder? I saw the video that popped up, and each and every one of the performances kept playing. Damn. If I'm, I say any anybody, I think R. Kelly has to go. R. Kelly definitely has to go. I think I think R. Kelly has to go because his pen is amazing, and he has a great great voice. I'm saying, bigging him up for only this reason of the vocals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, vocally, right. yeah. Bro, oh, damn, Jamie bro. Fox is one of the greatest singers of our generation, and he can play instruments. He's just he's just a, a, a class act. Oh, Usher. Is definitely up there in the top tier of vocalists, and then nobody touches MJ. So it, it has to be R. Kelly. All right. It one hundred percent has to be R. Kelly. But there's no way that I'm not keeping Usher, MJ, or Jamie Fox. Yeah. Hmm. If it wasn't R. Kelly, though, it'd be Usher. R- yeah. Like I, if I kept R. Kelly, I feel like that. if I kept R. Kelly, it would be Usher. Who's bro? Who who sings better, Jamie Foxx or Usher? Yo, I'm not gonna. He's lie. thinking about burning right I'm, now. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie, bro. Personally, I'm keeping Usher. Over yeah, but you see, I you see, you see, I just throw it in there. That's biased. I'm I, talking about. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm actual, very, very biased. So actual, vocally, actual ability, like vocal ability. We're not gonna sit here and act like Usher's. This vocal is not. Ability, this is, is not it? saying that he's not top tier, but. This is Jamie Foxx. He can make himself sound like Usher if he wanted to. Oh, man. Am I wrong? No, no. That's one of his thing. Imperson- impersonations. Impersonations. Yeah, I know. He does those. He can sound like MJ if he wanted to. It just wouldn't be as good. But it would still be good. It won't be as good, though. That's a tough one, bro. Luther come, Vandros, Marvin Gaye. Come back to me. Come, I, I will... Man. I'm not. I'm not doing this. Yeah, I'm just saying. R. Kelly, I, I got R. Him, Kelly is going. Yeah, I got him stumped. Yeah. yeah, R. Kelly is going. I'm not. I'm not doing this conversation because yeah. R. Kelly's gone. Usher is like lit. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Start. Start to bring that up. Sheesh! Just threw that at me. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was that's insane. That was my heart. <laughs> I was like, "What the yeah. fuck did he just say?" <laughs> Sheesh! That was. That was definitely like an insane one. Yeah, I saw that. I was lie. like, hmm, okay. All right, we got around the culture now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, mm-hmm. we, we here. We live. We live. Um, so recently over the weekend, I saw the Lil Baby had a concert for his birthday. Lil Baby and Friends type shit. Mm-hmm. He pulled up with uh, Drake, 21 Savage, Future, Chris Brown, Lil Yachty, all of them. And um, it was the first time Drake performed with 21 Savage. You know what I'm saying? 21, can you do do something for me? They went crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. Just that performance alone right there with, you know, very minimal, just a stage, some lights. I'd probably go see 21 21 Savage and Drake on tour. Okay. The energy was, was, was high. All right. I just saw that clip going around. I was like, okay, all right. See, I do that thing. Yeah, it was fire with the way he brought him out too. Like I think he was twenty one was a surprise guest. Yeah, twenty one was just in the back. Yeah. yeah, and then um, and then they played um, Rich Flex, and at the end of twenty one, yeah. can't do something for me. Twenty one came out to do his verse, and they were like, "Oh shit!" 
Yeah, I definitely go see Twenty One at Drake in concert. I seen Twenty One before, and that shit was fire. He killed it. So I definitely go. Where did you see? Where did you see Twenty One at? Uh, he opened for J Cole last year. Oh, oh yeah, he word. did. He did. That's not wearing the off season tour. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like the off season tour. He okay. opened for J Cole. That shit was heat, and he was performing songs. He performed um, Knife Talk before Drake even performed it, and that shit was fire. Damn. Fire. Yeah. Chopper turned him to a booty clapper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was like around the time CLB came out too. Mm, clapping that booty, heard you. All right, see, <laughs> now, now, you, now you're being extra. Yes, sir. But yeah, those clips are fire. I would have loved to be there. That that concert looked like it was lit. Concert? It wasn't their birthday bash? But it was a, it, it was like a concert, though. Like, it was, uh, a, it was mean, an actual I stage. Guess, Future yeah. performed. Mm-hmm. Chris Brown performed. Like, on, like, actual, like, performance. Like, uh-huh. I mean, it wasn't just like they were just out there vibing. Like, they sat there and performed by themselves. Like, uh-huh. nobody else on the stage. Okay. It was the, it was a vibe, 100%. Type of shit I would do for my birthday. I'm thinking because, like, they didn't, like, pay the equal amount of artists that performed. Nigga, don't even worry about the paycheck. Yeah, it's just, it's just, the just performance. A performance. I'm yeah. talking about I'm talking about the people that was there. Oh. Um, That's what I'm saying. Like, for the amount of artists that performed, they didn't pay that crazy. I'm thinking. That's why I didn't think it was a concert. Yeah, it was just on some, like, probably like some, um, I don't think it was at a club. It didn't look like it was a club. No, nah, it looked like it was, it was an actual stage and it looked like it was at, like, at a, a venue. Setup. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it was yeah. private. Yeah. That's, it could have been. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, speaking about Drake, he has two new singles that just went diamond. Hotline Bling. And can you guess the other one? Are you on me? One Dance? One Dance. One Dance, dance yeah. So. I was going to say Control, but did I don't you, know why. Did you see it somewhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the day after, the weekend stats came out. Oh, yeah? What did the weekend have? Remember the Can't You Feel My Face was the fourth single to go diamond? I thought you had five. Nah, four. Oh, yeah, it's no. four, okay. Yeah. Drake has five. Drake has five. With mm. him being God's lead. plan. <laughs> he has God's plan, one dance, hotline bling, sickle mode, and life is good. Mm-hmm. Life is good going diamond is crazy. Because yeah. it literally came out when life was good and life got horrible. Yeah. I thought life was didn't Didn't nah. Life Was Good came out twenty nineteen? Nah, it's twenty twenty. Yeah. Uh Oh, sorry. Beginning of 2020. Yeah, January. That's, that's what they mean. Oh, January. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Life was not good. 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Life became horrible after that. You know, I we went number one because we started going out, and that was the first song we jumped into mm. that summer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because that's when last like, one. They were like, yo, yeah. places are starting to open again. Life is good. Yeah. Life is good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Life is good>. <laughs> <laughs> But shout, out, shout out my man Obs, you know what I'm saying? Breaking records again, making history. It's regular for you, bro. It's regular for you. You know what I mean? Come on. Y'all need to stop playing with him, bro. He's really up there. He's all right. He's valid. <laughs> yeah, he's up there. Instead of investment, nigga over here buying 42 rings and putting in a chain. Oh, my God, bro. 42 engagement rings for a chain. What the fuck was that? That's fire. That's your man's nigga. If you if first of all, if you had a like a diamond Cuban necklace or like a diamond rope necklace, what do you mean? It would have it would have that many it would have diamonds on it. It just wouldn't be forty two and they're all different shapes and sizes and shit too. It's fire. I get that, but the meaning behind it is what's You listen to her loss on replay. Bro, the he said that it's for his forty two previous engagements. No. It's for the forty two times that he thought he would It's literally go. called previous engagements. That's what that piece is called. Yes, it's called it's called previous engagements for the forty two times that he thought about proposing but never did. When the fuck has Drake ever been engaged? Bro, I'm not saying he actually got engaged. I'm That's just what saying you just said. it's for his past exes, like like because they're they're failed relationships. He's basically collecting them like fucking infinity stones around his goddamn neck. Like okay. I don't know. That I don't it think seems. he was actually going to propose to 42 women. I I'm not he saying he thought about getting married 42 times in his life. It says previous engagements. Uh, I, I think it's because he had fucking 42 exes and this is just them around his neck. He's wearing them. I don't know. Chain, I don't, the chain was fire. If I had money, that's mine. Like, what the fuck? The chain wasn't fire? No, nah, it was fire, but I just want to tell you that story. Yeah, like Drake's always going to have a story, though, behind it. 
Like, I, that's who he is. Yeah, I know. So, I, I didn't think too much about it, but Nick, you, you went to the to mall 42 times? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. You went to Jacob? What time time? You listen to her loss. This is literally what he does on there. Bro. And on all his other, like, lover boy. That's cool. Certified lover boy. Honestly, never mind. Her loss. That's cool. You're going to think that this nigga not going to come out with some shit like that? Yeah, bro. But do you know how much money that is? That's like five, six mil. <laughs> Where you wearing around your neck. Like, what? Did I know you see how fire it looks? I know where two of those rings came from. Where? Rihanna and J-Lo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess that's four. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Uh, one of them was the girl who was talking about for shot for me. And the other one was, um, how about now? Okay. Yeah. And then Rihanna and J-Lo. And then Rihanna and J-Lo. <laughs> uh, and Ice Spice. Bria. No, <laughs> and Ice Spice, that's, that's crazy. Disgusting. Bria. Oh, that, Bria. Yeah, yeah Bria's Bria. in the loon. That, Georgia. It might be. Sheesh. Jaded. <laughs> Denise Weaver. Oh, no, Denise Weaver is J-Lo. Oh, J-Lo. Yeah. Yeah, man. My that, side. No, I'm joking. That shit fired. I don't know what you're talking about. That the, necklace is the fire. The piece is fire. If, if you're saying you wouldn't wear it, then you're bugging. The piece is fire. The piece is literally fire. fire. It's it's a bunch of different engagement rings, and they're not just regular small, tiny ones. They're huge. They're fucking rocks. We know. Yeah. Which makes it insane. Someone got it in his hand and was like, nah, take it back. I don't know. The idea of making engagement rings like like diamonds... A necklace is kind of crazy. I don't think. Okay, tell me. So that's I, equivalent I, to. I the don't pe- literally think he bought these rings and then took those rocks off of it and made the necklace. No, you can, that's you can just buy the, for the story. You can buy the rings. You can buy the the diamonds separate from the ring. So he probably just bought the diamonds. You're you're not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying that these aren't previous rings that he had. I'm I'm not saying that. I'm saying he probably bought the diamonds when he was making the piece. From like engage like he probably bought just the diamonds and then put them all together for the for the um for the chain. Why is this even a conversation? This nigga just forty two so, <laughs> diamonds. So he's saying it's not literal. But you're saying I'm just saying he just bought random diamond rings. Which, random. We're just going back and forth. Yeah. Not diamond <laughs> rings, like the actual diamond. No, no, like diamond, yeah. Like diamonds the out of diamonds, the rings. Diamonds, yes. But then they don't have to be his. They don't have to be his, exactly. That's, he just yeah. bought them. That's yeah. what he's saying. And they're all different shapes. So like there's different and with engagement rings, there's Billy, different we're shapes. The same thing. There's cushion. We're saying the princess same thing. I'm just saying. Word. Word. There's different shapes. Word. Yeah. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> The point is the piece is fire. And the it's fact a, that we spent that much time that's, on the fact that it is a fucking engagement ring made of a necklace is crazy. It's not that great. That's what I was gonna that's what I was gonna say. I, I was gonna say he sounds like he doesn't like the piece at all. Oh no, the piece is fire. I would wear it. Like, that's, you're, you're dumb. It, like you're crazy. And I was gonna ask if the story wasn't behind it, what would you think then? If he was like, yo, Drake I, is releasing just, his just own the, fucking thing and they came it came out in sterling silver, this nigga's copping it. I still didn't I don't like how it looks. Oh, okay. It doesn't it doesn't look appealing to me. Yeah, that shit's fire. Right. Come around here and then it drops down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shit, that's some, with a turtle. That's some, go, that's, that's some godfather shit. I'm good. I'm good off that. Nah. Come on. With the turtle neck? Come on. I'm I'm straight. I'm straight. Come on with the, the fur coat, the jacket, mm. and the snow? Mm. Maybe I, I gotta see it like on somebody. Maybe I'll change my mind. Uh, Drake got you. Yeah. <laughs> that collab we did was sure. fire though. The OVO Looney Tunes. Oh yeah. I'm Just too damn expensive. <laughs> yeah, the OVO shit's always expensive. Uh, so um I actually did not know this. I'm reading this for the first time, so Metro Boomin is working on music for the new Spider Man animated movie across the Spider Verse. Yes, sir. He already sequences his albums amazing. He just came out with Heroes and Villains, which was fire. Mm-hmm. We love the sequencing of it. Definitely had a cinematic vibe to it. He was saying mm-hmm. he wants to shoot more videos. So for him to work on a soundtrack, that's going to be fire. Oh, he's working on the soundtrack. Yeah, he's working on, on music for the for the animated movie, for the Spider-Man. Oh, uh, sorry, finish. I just think that, like, you can't have 21. You can't have 21 future and fucking... Um, what's this man's name? Young Thug and Gunna. You got to get him with different artists. Yeah, for the Spider Verse, Post Malone, bring those people back. You know what I'm saying? Sunflower Part Two. Shit, I might go crazy. Sunflower went down, so I, yeah. I don't see why not. 
Um, but yeah, Metro Boomin working on music for this movie is gonna go crazy. He's not solo. Pro- he's not producing the soundtrack on his own. Okay, he's not gonna be executive. That's producer. what I was saying. He's like just, he might be part of it. He's okay. gonna, going to be part of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, see Metro and uh, Metro and Kid Kid Cudi. Oh yeah, cool. Definitely, yeah. definitely a little vibe on some Jaden shit. Mm-hmm. Jaden. Yeah. They yeah, gotta get. They that. gotta get the the little upbeat. You know what I'm saying? Hyper. What was what's they called? Hippies. They gotta get the little little like the hippie kind of artist. Yeah, the sixties, late sixties guys. Kid Cudi that can make those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can see that happening, especially after Kid Cudi's uh, movie. So. True. Next track we get Push That Stain Kodak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine. No, no, thank you. Push, I think. If anybody can make it work, though, it's Metro. Hmm. Damn, the silence. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens when the movie comes out. Uh, June 3rd, I think. It's June 2nd. Uh, June 22nd? No, June 2nd. Oh, June 2nd. I was a day off, bro. My bad. June 2nd, 2023. Yes, sir. Bro, can't wait. She was supposed to drop this year. That's all right. It's all right. Listen. Patience, young powder one. All right, that it, that wasn't a bad one. The worst one I hate is when they show shit five years, and it doesn't come out to like seven years later. Bro, don't even, don't even start on that, bro. Don't even, don't even. I don't, want, I don't even want to talk about that, that shit. shit hit bro. him in the chest. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about shit like that, bro. I Why? Mean, we're not, bro, because man, they be just they be doing too much, bro. Don't show us shit. Show show us when it's like almost ready. I'm if you're gonna saying. announce something, bro, just make it come out like two days later, bro. Like I want, I want it like ASAP, like Express. Don't fucking. What do y'all talk about? Talk specifically, about video games. So video games in general, they yeah. do that. They do shit all the time, bro. Kingdom Hearts. I was gonna say, like, Kingdom you, you want to tell the people or <laughs> Kingdom bro, Hearts. I'm watching the video game awards that just passed, bro. In the chat, every every like ten seconds, Kingdom Hearts for a trailer. I'm like. That's not coming here. That's yeah. I was I was hoping I was hoping for it, but it's it's not happening, and it didn't. <laughs> bro, yeah, I gotta wait till like PS6. Yeah, no, nah, PS10, bro. Um, and then they announced fucking Spider Man Two last year, and we haven't heard a single thing about it since. Bro, let them rock. And Is they it? and they and they delayed fucking Wolverine. I mean, they delayed Wolverine. We didn't even get a date. But they delayed it though. We got like a year. It was supposed to come out next year. They delayed it to twenty twenty four. Wolverine next year? Yeah. That was no way possible. That that's that's what they said. It was, nah, supposed, it was supposed to come out next year. No. No, bro. No way. Yeah. Wolf, bro, no way. Yeah, I swear, bro. It was supposed to come out before Spider Man. That's a lie. I'm not expecting that till twenty twenty five. Sounds like honest. a lie. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's what they that's what Marvel said, bro. That's what Sony said. Listen, man, leave him and sound neck alone. They're the goats, all right? They're going to do their job. Just let them, let them rock. That's cool, bro. But announce your game when it's almost fucking ready. I don't want to wait. What you mean? Finish the other games you're playing. All right, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want me to go there. We, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. What are we talking about? Um, Since we're talking about movies and shit. Yo, yeah, real quick. Y'all know the, the, the uh, I guess it's a show now, Franklin? Tittle? I oh, know, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was a show. I thought it was just a book. You didn't know they had like an animated show for it? Oh, what? Nah. That was my shit when I was a kid. Ninja was streaming this a couple of days ago and he played it. I was like, what the fuck? You liked it? It looked cool. Looks type interesting, right? It looked cool, yeah. It looked cool. Got his own family and shit. Yeah, bro. My son Franklin, man. Damn. I, th- I thought it was a book. It, I think it is a book, though. No, but it's a, it's also a show. I mean, yeah. It's a kid's show. But it came out in 2000, so. Yeah, it's mad old. I understand why. Mad old. I was watching that shit when I was like fucking five years old, bro. Five? Three, five, whatever. Uh, all right, real quick in the film genre, Rush Hour 4, it's a production. It said Jackie Chan. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? How, how it I seen a tweet that said, if there's no racism in it, keep it. I don't want it. And I 100% agree. One like, that shit better not be washed down, canceled, or they better be making canceled jokes. Like, oh, no, no, we can't say that no more. You know what I'm saying? Shit like yeah. that. Like, all right, yeah. But. Those Rush Hour movies, they were so good. Like, the comedy was so good because it felt like, you know, they was just getting at each other back and forth. Yeah, yeah. The whole time. Bro. Yeah, nah. If there's no racism, I don't even want to watch it. <laughs> that was a perfect tweet. From from now on, my name is you. Not you, me. me. You. 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 Me? You is you. You is you. You is me. I'm me. 
No, <laughs> no, not you, him. <laughs> Iconic, bro. Uh, Chris Tucker, bro. Funny legend. Um, I forgot to mention this on the Diamond topic. Lil Uzi Exo Tall Life also in Diamond. As it should. As it should. Shout out Uzi, man. How many Diamond records he has on? I think that's his first one. I thought he had two. What would be the other one? Money Longer? No. I hope not. <laughs> for for real, for real. You don't like that track? No. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, Diamond? That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. That, like, ten times? Platinum? Like, you know. <laughs> I like to see the other one go Diamond. The one that uh, Westbrook used to get hyped to. Yeah. Which one? Do what I want. Oh no! Nah, yeah, not nah, do it. That that would make sense. Um, yeah, I think it's just that one actually. Got you. All right. Yeah. Tag in more stuff. I think uh, Billy had something he wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah. So I wanted to hit y'all with some questions, man. Come on, I got some questions for y'all that I think, you know, it's the end of twenty twenty two. Yeah, it's pretty much the end. You know what I mean? Um, Damn, sounds like Christmas don't count. Right. Christmas counts, bro. He's it's not thinking about the two episodes that we're about to have. It's pretty much the end. You know what I'm right, saying? So God. Pretty much the end. Son got his Spotify wrapped and said, Call it good. That's it. That's it, bro. <laughs> and Apple Music wrapped. I don't use Spotify. Sorry. Um, sorry, not sorry. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys, what's your favorite uh, verse from 2022? Mm, um, damn. There are a lot of tough verses. I think I'm going to have to go with Jay-Z. You mother- God did. Mm. That's such a cop-out answer, though. I mean, but it's also your actual answer. The reason why it was top five of my rap. Yeah. Damn. How about you, Bill? Nah, Justin. I asked a question. That- yeah, man, AKA, I, I don't have it. Right. Yeah. I was, I was, I was trying to game, bro, because I was gonna use that as a cop out. Yeah. I think, um, I think Lil Wayne had the standout verse for me this year. Mm. What song? That's a hard one because he literally <laughs> featured on so much. I think I'm gonna go with um, Little Wayne on. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Little Wayne on on, on Cordes Cordes album. Oh, is that Yeah, that was my favorite. He didn't say stand. He he's a favorite verse, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, not last year. Okay, Little Wayne on Jack Holder job this year too, right? Yeah, yeah that I, was fire too. Yeah, Poison? No, 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 not not that song. The one with Chris Brown, Possessive. It was just oh, Possessive. Yeah, Little Wayne's verse. That's why I said there's a lot, bro. Like I just honestly yeah. like my artist of the year would be Lil Wayne, but that's a whole nother topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, that's a weak verse, but I'll go with that. I liked it. Okay. Uh, uh it plays a lot in MLB the show. So uh, Sinister is like on the soundtrack. The theme song? Yeah. Okay. All right. Damn, favorite verse. It was your question. Bro, relax. Let me let me get my shit off. Damn. You're not getting your shit off. That's the problem. Bro. You know, you know when the teacher put us on the spot and we got the answer right. Yeah, your turn. Man. Yeah, yeah. No, man. He struggled. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Pussy a Million, Travis Scott. Travis Scott got verse of the year for you on that. Yeah, bro, that favorite, shit was fire. Fa- favorite verse, favorite verse. Yeah, her loss. Okay. Oh, for I her mean, love. It's yeah. a pretty good verse. Nah, it is. I'm just. Trying it to didn't need to be there, but it's a pretty good verse. Uh, yeah, no, nah, it's it's a, it's a great verse. Shout out Travis. You know what I'm saying? Good comeback. Good comeback. I would um, definitely think his verse off on the on the Nav song was way better. Oh, uh, Geek Never Sleep. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was done on the title, bro. Oh, Never Sleep. Never Sleep. Never sleep. <laughs> but that's why it was your favorite one. So it's not it's not the Damn, best. It's not the best one. I forgot about Never Sleep though. That's why I said I'm like when you <laughs> asked me that I'm like what the fuck I was just gonna do God did because it was a great verse. <laughs> Damn, might have to go with Never Sleep then. Die. You have a right to change your shit. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to never sleep because Travis killed that shit. I forgot about never sleep. What was your next question? Um, what album do you think is underappreciated? Underappreciated album? Come on, yeah. bro. You already know my answer. Doesn't more, have to be from this year. Just more black superheroes. Yeah, I know uh, that was going to be your answer. Come on, bro. Like Everybody needs to tap into West Side Boogie. That shit is literally, it's perfect, bro. Like it's, it's There's nothing wrong with the album. I, I can't find anything wrong with it. If you don't like the song, preference-wise, maybe. Sure. Great production, great pen, everything. Fire. Underappreciated. What's that, Boogie? Okay. Uh, minus uh, Scissor, SOS. Bro, I was about to be like, what? <laughs> nah, it's uh, the favorite story by Jay. 
I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, yeah. that's valid. Definitely, definitely didn't get enough shine from the public, but from publishers it did. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah, he was around a lot. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm. This is be left field. Od, I'm gonna go with. Uh, uh, Ryan Trey at East uh, 64 East Saga That came out last year What did oh, you okay. even just say I was like at 64 what? East Saga Ryan Trey That came out last year Okay Like I said It doesn't have to be an album That came out this year Okay That came out last year Super underappreciated That album was fucking great no, For not. a debut album no, not. That was not his debut album It's not It's not. Damn his son Don't shit on Billy like that it's Just <laughs> let it rock Sorry bro this Way 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 The way. album just came in my head I was like Yeah it's not <laughs> What? Oh, okay. He came out album 2016. Yeah, real friends. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. But you, you guys didn't like that album? Nah, I, I did. But what did you just call it? Like a great a album? 64. Even. No, no, no. You said it's a great album. Yeah, I think it's a great, it's a great album. debut album. Period. So he just must have held it to a high standard because he thought it was his first, first album. Yeah. So yeah, that's no. yeah. I have like maybe three songs on there. No, oh, okay. yeah, y'all are uh, no, 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 no. Don't say y'all after that. Yeah. I got like eight, nine. It's All a right. fourteen track album. I have like, yeah, so, yeah, like eight, seven. Let me check. Let me just double check. But great would mean like almost that's, everything. To that's me. what I'm saying. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I have everything. Yeah, buddy. everything. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um. Oh, shit. How I many? Know. How many songs is it? Oh, it's 14. I have eight. Yeah, but you, okay. That's valid, though. But you like yeah. Ryan Trey. I like, that's what I'm yeah. saying. I like him. Yeah. Um, he's he's all right. Yeah, I, I've tried to put yeah. try to put him on. He's, he's cool. I have some no, songs. I'm, like, you like him, but it's like... I don't love him. Yeah. 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 I'm not listening yeah. to an entire album from him. Like, that's my man's for real. Is it? That was, no, I'm joking. Last thoughts? Right. Last thoughts? Yeah, I got some I got some tech shit. Some tech shit? Some tech shit. The fuck gotta is do, this Apple? Got to do music, bro. Some tech shit. All right, first one, first one, first one. If you can load up, niggas listening like, yo, where the fuck up? All right, but first one, I got Warner Music is about to team up with Roku TV. Fire. You know what I'm saying? So, what are they going to do? So, they're about to do three ad free channels with it's called WMX Rock, Pop, and Hip Hop. And they'll show music videos, concerts, original programming, and stuff like that. And they're about to premiere a show called Iconic Records Life After Death. So you explore like a legacy of like past dead artist. Fire. Is it well, gonna be free? Fire. You said uh, Warner Music in the team of Heroku, so I'm assuming that it might be like a free channel. It's ad free channel. Ad free. I don't know if the channels are gonna oh, be. No, 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 that's fire. Okay, ad yeah. free. Ad free, is ad free, yeah. Yeah. That's fire. So you, if, if you have a Roku, you probably have access to it then. That's what I'm thinking. You probably yeah. have access to the app. It might just be exclusive to Roku. But that's what I'm saying. They usually probably offer it for free. It might be free. Mm. Mm. Sounds like something they can get for free. Okay. And this one's for um, people like us, content creators, you know what I'm saying? Instagram is about to announce content scheduling. So you can schedule uh, content for up to seven to five days in advance. So if you're like, so for us, like, if you're busy or if you're living day-to-day life, you can just have videos on the go ready. You don't got to worry about it. Yeah. Type shit. If we edited them on time. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, <laughs> no, that's super fire. I definitely think that that um, would help because, like, you know, it's around the holidays. You might, might want to be with your family, but you also got to produce content and put yeah. it out. There's apps that help you do it already, but I think if it's already done in that app, that's fire. Mm-hmm. Like, you can download third-party apps to do it. Okay. Yeah, but if it's already within the same app, it's definitely better to me. Are you talking about editing or scheduling? Scheduling. Oh, okay. Yeah. I th- I thought about it as like maybe they will update how the drafts system works. Like you know, you just push in the draft and let it. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking they'll probably update the whole thing. Yeah, that's what probably that that would probably be the layout. But what I was saying is that uh, it's already like a thing for third party apps that you could put. Hey, this is what I want, and I want you to have ins- access to my Instagram and post this for me at this time. Oh, okay. And they'll just go. Oh, okay. I didn't know they had that. That's far. I didn't know that either. Yeah, it depends on the app. Maybe it's. Yeah. I've never used it because I don't like the quality. Like, I don't think it, it gives me the same quality. But it, like, lower the... Yeah, because you're putting it through, like, two different things. Putting it through that app, then it's putting it from that software to Instagram. I'm yeah, able. it's going to be messed up. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, last, uh, Netflix denies the interest in live sports so because they view it as a loss. Because, you know, recently they changed the ad thing to $8 a month. Mm-hmm. They haven't seen profits in that yet, so they don't know if they'll move forward with live sports being included. Oh... Uh. 
Wait, live sports? Like Hulu? Like Hulu and live sports? Oh. Like people were saying since they have an ad tier, they, they were going to do that. But they said they won't right now. Okay. Damn. Yeah, yeah. fuck fuck that shit, bro. Just some little gems that y'all probably already read in the newspaper, but you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you didn't. I now you heard it here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, my boys. Any um, more last thoughts? No, nah, I'm chilling, man. Oh, wait, hold up. Hope I don't do, I don't know if we do this yet, but hopefully we do. But not for, hopefully it doesn't get to these reasons. But Francis is uh is making condoms free of charge for eighteen to twenty five year olds. Francis is who? No, France. 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 He's making condoms free of charge for eighteen to twenty five. Nigga, we live in America. Hey man, listen. Planned Parenthood. That's what I'm saying. But they only did that because STI went up thirty percent. And um, yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't have to come France. to that for us. I well, mean, we could just do it. You could just get it in clinics and stuff. Like it, if it, it's it's available for you, but it would just take so much business away from so many places. That's true. And they're not like super expensive either. If you're old enough to do it, you should be old enough to buy it. Safety. That's how I feel it, about it. That's true. But it could be beneficial. There's a lot of things that would be beneficial if it's free. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, not everything could be free. Mm. Yeah, a lot of things can be beneficial, like you know, healthcare, America. You know, what I'm saying, take some fucking notes. Yeah, but um, free healthcare then equals more lines yeah, yeah, because yeah. everybody's gonna be doing stuff and going out places. Then you probably won't get the best care, or if you want better care, then you have to pay for a higher tier. So it'd be free, and then you gotta pay, pay. top dollar yeah. for those better steps. You know, Doctors, Listen, so bro. so basically, if you're doing free of charge, I don't, I don't agree with with free healthcare. If you're doing free of charge of healthcare, if you go in the ER, nigga, yes, is waiting. Yeah, all I'm saying is there's no reason why I step in. I go into a doctor's office because I'm injured. I get checked for two seconds, and you guys send me a three G three thousand dollars bill. Like that's crazy. I mean, yeah, but if you have insurance, it covers it. But if you don't, you get insurance. There's there's literally Obamacare. Medicare, Medicaid, like there's yeah. mad, there's mad options. Like they've made it pretty good. I I don't agree with free healthcare. I did at one point, but I seen what happened, like what goes on in Canada, mm. and like they got free healthcare. They have free healthcare. Yeah, yeah. And it's not it's not the greatest thing. Like it, the system's not the greatest. Mm. Yeah, I don't agree with free healthcare. If you're thinking it's too expensive, obviously, yeah, nobody wants to pay that shit. But yeah. free health, nah, no. Nah. It should be everything should be at a price. Because when it's free, then nobody's benefiting, and then there's no improvements, and then also the people that are working are also going to be at lower quality, too. That's how I feel. I guess, yeah. All right, listen, man. If y'all made it this far, we love y'all. Um, hope y'all enjoy the holidays. I'm going to say this again on the Christmas episode, but hope y'all enjoy the holidays. If you made it this far, and you want to keep hearing us weekly, every Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> mm. 10 o'clock in the morning Every Friday weekly For the audio podcast Listen Go to Apple Podcast Spotify Podcast Wherever you listen If you want to see us The visuals Face reactions Catch our drip You know what I'm saying Those Yes sir Those donations Helping Coming through Coming clutch <laughs> Yeah support the pod It's right there Support you know the saying? pod It's the anchor right? button. It's the anchor yeah. yeah Okay Yeah support the pod You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Anything counts Anything helps Um, See the visuals Make sure you like Comment share Subscribe If you haven't done so already and hit that notification button next to it so you get notified every time we drop. You know what I'm saying? And until next time, like we always say, Deuces! Deuces.